Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chef Sketty, and tonight I'm making Cajun chicken. This is a very simple recipe, and I think you'll be surprised how quick and easy it comes together once you see my ingredients. If you like a spicy dish, this is certainly for you. So come along with me and I'm gonna start cooking. In my skillet, I'm gonna add two chicken breasts that I've diced up. I'm pretty sure the origins of this, this dish come from Pinterest. I had a friend who was making it a few years ago and she told me about it and it kind of ended up being a big hit. So how are you doing today? I am doing wonderful. I'm going to quickly stir fry this chicken. I'd normally add some color to my chicken. I'll try to do the best I can, but I know the video is probably going to cut out on me. Anyway, in, an, in a real world, I, I'd have this chicken browned a whole lot more with more caramelization, but I'm going to move things along. And I'm adding three cups of cut up vegetables. I have yellow pepper, red pepper, one stalk of celery, one medium onion, two cloves of garlic. Here's three tablespoons of Cajun spice. You can use your favorite spice in this dish or no Cajun spice at all. Today I'm using this spice I got at Aldi. And I added two tablespoons of the Aldi Cajun spice with one tablespoon of McCormick organic cayenne pepper. I got a live one there. Did you see that little one jump out at me? The vegetables are misbehaving again, and sometimes Chef's getting has problems with that. But that's okay. Sauteing the vegetables do not take long on a medium-high heat, as you can see. Things are moving along quickly. We're pretending we've moved along three or four minutes in sauteing. And we're going to add one-third cup of heavy cream. And I know Chef Sketty is always adding heavy cream. But when you work in the restaurant business your entire life, you... You kind of know that's the golden ticket right there in dishes. It just, it doesn't take really a lot of cream all the time, but it does add that necessary flavor profile along with a couple pats of butter, unsalted butter. And you put a lid on this for just a few minutes, not long long enough for you to get some pasta together, some rice together, roasted potato, some no carb noodles, and you'd have a finished dish. And you could put parsley on here. Tonight I'm going with some green onion. And of course I've made spaghetti. My family loves thin spaghetti. So I've made thin spaghetti tonight. Some thin spaghetti that would go in with this dish. And you know what's coming is that leftover pasta water. I always save a half a cup or so. And there you have it, Chef Sketty's Cajun Chicken, which originally originates somewhere on Pinterest. I thank you for subscribing and liking. 
and I appreciate you. Have a great night. Bye.